how much of a wicked son of a bitch you are. So I suggest right now you shut your mouth, such a trap, and stop accusing. What did you do? What did you do, you son of a bitch? Well, okay, go ahead, talk. Um, well, even in the past, you've been unwilling to be specific about the where the money goes for your foundation, saving Christians. Now we're talking about uh, money. You said it's uh, to CNN, it's not of their business. Where does that money go? Well, if you were smart enough, you go to rescuechristians.org and you'll find hundreds of testimonies, people from Pakistan who were saved out of slavery. In fact, in Pakistan, rescue Christians been at the forefront at the forefront and those are registered cases those are cases very high the highest cases globally in pakistan of christians who were imprisoned unfairly for blasphemy law has been handled by rescue christians and now you're becoming transparent about that financially it's very transparent we have all our taxes there you can talk to keith davies in fact you should have a debate with keith davies well, oh, sure, but you can take a look at rescuechristians.org. Before the case is, let me finish. Yeah, when the, when the case is finished, it has been documented very, very well. You can go to Christian. Po what? Excuse me? I said, aren't you just pocketing this money, man? Come on. Do you have any evidence on pocketing the money? No, I'm asking you. Why would you be asking me this question if you have no evidence of me pocketing the money? It's very transparent. It's, it's very transparent. Okay, so you can take a look at the most prominent cases in Pakistan, and you can I can give you the cases, and you can see rescue Christians are the ones. Now you're interrupting me. You asked me a question, accusatory question, number one, that you try to say that we're pocketing money. Okay, there's no evidence whatsoever of anybody pocketing money. In fact, most of the most of my in, let me finish. Most of my income comes from book sales. In fact. I don't take any money from the Rescue Christians operations. Rescue Christians is Rescue Christians. And the cases have been proven to the whole world. Okay, you can go to the Christian Post. You can go to the Pakistan ever, Christian Post. And you can see for yourself. Er, 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 those cases are very well documented. So I don't understand why you're accusing Rescue Christians of pocketing money. You came along. You came, Let me finish. You came along. You came along. You came. I have. Look, I have the dialogue I had with you. You started, Eric, you started, you started, uh, Eric, Eric, shut your mouth. You talk too much. You came and accused us. You accused us. You said you're a fraud. I said, excuse me, what evidence do you have on fraud? You couldn't produce any evidence. When I showed you the evidence of the bombing operation I did in Bethlehem, what did you do? What did you do, you son of a bitch? You, you, you shut your mouth. I have the dialogue with you. I said, here is the United Nations records. Records from the United Nations from the year of the bombing showing that in Manger Square, there was a bomb that exploded in Manger Square. My bomb, my terrorist operation when I was Muslim. Okay? And when I proved it to you and you saw the evidence, you shut your mouth. So I suggest right now you shut your mouth such a trap and stop accusing. I'm just asking questions. It seems to me that your hatred for Jews, once you converted to Christianity, switched over to hatred for gays. So oh, now you're changing now the, subject. the subject to Sodomites. You started talking you about. Keep, you keep talking. Now, listen, when, when I was talking about Sodomites, you, you accused me of changing the subject. Now you're talking about Sodomites. Let me ask you a question, Eric. Have you ever heard of a guy named Golsher? Have you ever heard of a man named Golsher? No. Have, have you ever heard of Golsher? Okay. Have you ever heard? Okay. Golsher was the official dry... Shh. Susan. Susan, I know that you have a stepfather from the Brady Bunch who's a sodomite, okay? So I know this is very sensitive for you, but let me finish. Golsher was the official driver for Shabhaz Bati, who was a Catholic politician defending the rights of Catholic and other Christians in Pakistan, unlike you over here in, over there in L.A., and they, the Taliban assassinated uh, Golsher. They assassinated, no, they, they assassinated Shabazz Bahti. We rescued the driver. 
And it was an international story, the story of Gulshir. And we were the ones who took Gulshir from Pakistan and flew him out of that country. So we are countering jihad by saving lives, not just media, not just information. You can go look up the story what of Gulshir. What lives have you saved? Tell me, what lives have you saved? What lives have you saved? Then tell your friend to shut his trap. Tell your friend to shut his trap and stop falsely accusing and stop asking questions. Do you pocket the money and all that stuff? He just shut his mouth right now. Okay. Well, then you just spread the love of Jesus everywhere you go, don't you? Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do to you if I ever see you. Just rescue. You want me to tell you in the air what I'll do to you? Because I don't swing that way, brother. Just well, I know because you're not a man. You are not a man. Okay, you're a piece of dirt. That's all you are. You came in 2012, 2012 to talk about counter jihad. I started in 1994. I was the one who exposed the Obama family. I was the one, even when, when Pamela Geller and, and what's his name, Robert, talk, Spencer. Robert Spencer talk about the, uh, uh, the, ground, zero the ground Zero Mosque, Imam Faisal Abdul Rauf. I was the one who translated the, from the Arabic language who that man was, and they took my information. I was on Fox News talking about that information. I was the one who exposed many of these cases you never even heard of because you didn't speak a lick of Arabic. I'm the one who rescues Christians. I'm the one who goes there, and she is your friend? You ought to be our friend, not his friend. There's no question, Willie, that you've done a lot of important Then she should dump you out of the stu She should dump you as a friend. Why are you this guy's friend? Are you? Is it the Brady Bunch? Susan Olson. Susan Olson. Susan Olson. Why are you friends with a scum? Who are you referring to? Susan, Susan Olson. Why are you friends with this piece of scum next? Who's talking? Hmm? Why are you friends with this piece of scum? Who's talking? I don't think he's scum. He is scum. He's accusing us of pocketing money, insinuating we're pocketing money. He's insinuated to me. Is that a noble cause, what he's doing? Attacking Christians because they're countering jihad? Uh, attacking people who advocate attacking other people, yes, I think that's very admirable. Well, that's your view. I, look, that's your view. I respect your view. It's hate speech. It's hate speech. We Listen, Eric. It's not a crime. Okay, it's just wrong. Okay, I got you. So Russia's wrong, right? The whole country? I don't, I don't think that's what anybody's saying. Who's, who's fighting ISIS? Who's fighting ISIS? Who is fighting ISIS? You or Russia? Who's fighting ISIS? Who's fighting ISIS? Well, you're just all over the place. Who's fighting ISIS? Russia's fighting ISIS. Russia is, so Russia is fighting ISIS, and Russia is also beating the sodomites up. Both, both, both. Russian, because the let me tell you something about the Russian military, Serbian military. They don't like faggots. They don't like faggots. Okay, so you think those homosexuals should be in the military? I didn't say that. Well, I'm asking you. Do you think the homosexuals should be in the military? I see no problem if somebody wants to fight for their country and they're homosexual. I don't see any reason why. It's you know, it's amazing that if somebody goes against. Uh, faggotry and sodomites and homosexuality it's hate speech it's hatred but when have when have you people ever talked about the mass rape epidemic that is happening in the military and it's not man on woman it's man on man sodomites in the american military in the british military are raping american soldiers look at the reports Look at the reports that came from the Pentagon. Shut Eric, up. Eric, shut your mouth, please. Hey, dumbbell, shut your mouth. The rates of military sexual trauma among men who served in the military may be as much as 15 times higher than has been previously reported. Listen, hey, I'm giving you a crimes against humanity here, and you're laughing. Largely because barriers associated with stigma, etc. And this is sh Eric. Stop talking. This is not me saying this. This is the American Psychiatric Association. This is the psychological services that have done research in the military. 
This is Ram Corps, which was hired by the Pentagon. They have done estimates, 57,750 recorded incidences of homosexual rape. And there's even more cases of molestation on U.S. military. So don't give me this garbage that the sodomites are innocent. They are evil. They are wicked. This is... Do you this support is, this? Thing? Do you support? Do you support? This is what you support? This is what this is what you support? You support this crap? You support these sodomites raping people? If what you're saying is true... It is true. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do I mean if? It's American Psychiatric Association, the Pentagon... Rand Corps, they're all confirming that thousands and thousands of U.S. soldiers have been raped by sodomites. We're actually, we're, we're getting close to uh, running out of time, so I want to give us a chance to kind of wrap it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, wrap it up. Is there something in closing that you want to say that might make you guys look a little better than you look? Look a little better? My, I'm, I've been schooling you. I've been schooling the whole team of you this entire time. I've been educating all of you. The, the, the ones looking like idiots and full of crap are you guys. You can't even tell me anything about the Catholic Church and, and how they were associated with Nazis. I refuted that. And I'm showing you the crimes against humanity that the sodomites are doing. And this is what I'm going to say to you in closing. You say that you are associated with us somehow because of the counter-jihadism. We were never associated with you. When I joined this movement, I came to fight evil. Not to be a part of some group of looney tunes called counter jihad i'm here to fight evil and the problem with having a secular position is that it becomes inundated with sodomites and with and with fat slobs like yourselves excuse me now you're supporting suicide so now you have confirmed to me how much of a wicked son of a bitch you are by supporting suicide this is the reason why this is the reason why the Catholic Church put people like you to death. This is the reason why the Catholic Church used to burn pieces of crap, pieces of garbage like you at the stake. Because you are pro death. You are not pro life. You are not pro human. You are anti human. You are anti human. Anti human. Wait a minute, what why why are you guys bailing out? Go ahead. Go ahead. I hope you do, Eric Albell. So, talk away. Bark away. Talk all you want about us. Now, why are you bailing out? I thought we had a debate for two to three hours here. What I object to is that you're using that that um, to bring people to Shabbat ministry, and then you're preaching hate. You're preaching that we should, for example, execute homosexuals. What's the quote? Should, Give us the no, quote. No, 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 no. Christian law worldwide, force people to it. I'm not even sure I would call that Christianity. It's certainly out, out of step with mainstream Christianity. It, it's a it's a it's a fringe Christian hate group that you guys are running. <laughs> um, that, uh, I mean, let me, let me just ask you an honest question. I mean, just I mean, just between us, guys, you guys don't actually believe this bullshit, right? <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. If, 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 if since you've cussed, I think it's also okay for us to to share some language as well. If anyone is full of shit, it's you, Eric Allen Bell, because uh, obviously you don't know anything about Christianity. You wouldn't know Christianity if Jesus Christ himself met with you. You wouldn't even know Christianity. But how do you know? Then you shh, be quiet. Let me finish. You've insulted me. You you've you, now you use warring words now. If you no, ever read about Christianity, you would know that you're full of crap, because in the New Testament and in the Old Testament, execution for homosexuals for homosexuality, is 
taught and uh, permissible only by a government, by a state, or by people who are called by God. Which you forgot to mention. I was respectful for you until you started insulting my religion, insulting my faith. So here, so go ahead, go ahead, talk. Go ahead, bark. Go ahead, bark, bark, bark. Wally Shabbat is a very prominent person in what is called, by some people, the counter jihad movement. By the opposition, they call it the Islamophobia movement. So I don't want to be associated with that. We don't care. We don't care. It's not our problem. Okay. You're advancing the Islamic agenda because you're so you're you're so loony tunes that you're hurting us. I love what the CC is doing. He hates Jews, though. Step in the right direction. Oh, I see. So it's a step in the right direction. So long, it's okay to hate Jews, but it's a step in the right direction. As long as you're not killing them, it's a step in the right direction. Excuse me, I didn't get that. What what's what's the step in the right direction? Oh, you should take a trip to Tahrir Square then. They will rape you. Secular Muslims, fundamentalist Muslims, it matters nothing. They will rape you. My whole, my whole point is that, see, you guys are saying that we should, or as people should disassociate themselves from us. Listen, I really don't give a crap who disassociates themselves from us. Exactly. Are you on psych meds? Excuse me? Are you on psych meds? I, I so, am right oh now... God. So if you can't really deal with the issues, apparently all the names were given I mean, you, yeah, I mean, I, all the samples were given you, all the historic references were given you, and you're asked, and you didn't know any of that stuff. It seems yeah. that you're high on, on dope. Listen, are you high off LSD? Are you high off shrooms right now? Are, are you high off Hinduism? I mean, I mean, what kind of a what kind of a response? What kind of a remark is that? I, I, can we have a little bit of civility? So and this says we're high on dope. I mean, you're saying we're high off meds, and you and you start insulting Jesus. And you and why you. Would you uh, hold on. Why would you ask who was such a stupid question? Are you in psychiatric medication? Why would you ask such a stupid it's question? Like a relevant question to me when I watch a video of a guy saying women shouldn't vote. Women oh, women shouldn't vote. vote. Do you know who agrees with me? Thomas Jefferson agrees with me. Was he on psych meds? Hey, is Thomas Jefferson on psych meds? Because he also agrees with me. John Adams agrees with me. The Founding Fathers agree with me on women's right to vote. So if you want to argue with me on that, argue with Thomas Why Jefferson. Why are we switching? LGBT, you're saying our war against the LGBT is wrong. I want them to be executed. Okay, you said our war and our method about the LGBT is wrong. You don't agree with LGBT, apparently. For all left-handed people to be executed, I'd object to that too. Alan, are you homosexual? Well, it's a valid question. It's a valid are you, question. Are you, are you homosexual? No. Why not? why not? But I don't have to be homosexual. But why, but why well, aren't why you homosexual, not? though? Other human beings. Why, why aren't you homosexual? you homosexual? Why am I not homosexual? Yeah. yeah. I have never really thought about that. Why not? <laughs> I have to get back to that one. But why, why aren't not? you homosexual? I mean, why? I mean, are, are you that close-minded? You, you want my opinion on that? Are, are you homosexual? No. No. Because we know it's disgusting, it's and it's disgusting. evil, and it's demonic. It's, evil. it's diabolical. Okay, so, the, so it, it, it's your own reason, you know, it's not anything in particular, it's just that's how you feel. How come we answered your question, you didn't answer ours? What was your question? Are you homosexual? Why, are you not why, homosexual? why aren't you homosexual? Oh, okay. Uh, I wasn't born that way. Yeah, it's, I, I believe it's... I, believe it's, it's I wasn't born that way. You're born. That's a load of garbage. That's a load of garbage. The Spartans did a very good job. If you're not inclined to be that way. It's just like, you know, you're born black. You can't, you know, make somebody black. That's the way you're born. Please don't insult black people by equating them to sodomites. You're insulting blacks. Don't, you're insulting black people by, sure, by equating them. Do you support voluntary cannibalism? Simple question. Of course. I'm a cannibal. See, there you go. So obviously, I know you don't really want to eat people. So you're so obviously you're full of shit because because I just showed you and I and I showed you there was a video between Richard Dawkins and Peter Singer they're both supporting voluntary cannibalism.